Human trafficking and tattoos. Researchers at Nebraska Medical Center say tattoo artists can play a part in fighting the problem. Experts want to get the word out so every artist knows what to look for. Reporter Alex McLuhan shows us how they're taking the steps to do that now. We do life-changing tattoos every day. But some life-changing tattoos are getting past tattoo artists. Mel Judkins runs Black Squirrel Tattoo, which was approached by researchers at UNMC examining human trafficking. Experts say artists have a critical opportunity to detect victims forced to be branded for soliciting purposes. Mel's been in the business for about 20 years, and she says this is all eye-opening. Because you look back on your career and realize, you know, I may have come in contact with human traffickers before and had no idea. Um, I didn't know the signs, so I'm really looking forward to this education. Common markings include barcodes. Local investigators say dollar signs, names, and slang words like wifey are also popular, but could be hidden inside lips. Authorities are a part of the team working with Nebraska Medical Center. UNMC's Dr. Rajaram is the one who spearheaded this whole thing. She's done extensive research into human sex trafficking. One of the things that did come up was the tattoos. It's very hurtful for the women to be branded that way and even after they have been able to get out, that's a constant reminder. Dr. Rajaram wants to spread awareness to artists like Mel, who will be at an upcoming tattoo convention in Council Bluffs. Rajaram also encourages artists to pick up on cover-up tattoos that could be homemade, which are another sign of victims. To really change somebody's life in a way where they've had such a, a terrible past and now they can look to a brighter future. There's no better feeling as a tattoo artist to be able to give that to someone. Alex McLoon, 3 News Now. Dr. Rajaram and a well-known tattoo artist will both be educating artists on the topic at the Old Mattress Factory on this Thursday. They'll also both have a booth at the Council Bluffs Convention inside the Mid-America Center.